Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the change in the area due to thermal expansion. So let's say that we have a metal plate. It has an initial uh, surface area. Notice that it's a square. It has length by length. And we heat it up so it expands in both the width and the height. Now we can put the expansion only on one side or we could put half of it on each side. doesn't matter. But you will see a change in length in one direction and a change in length in the other direction. Notice that the change in the area will be equal to the sum of these two areas right here, which is equal to the initial length times the change in the length, but also this little piece right here, which is essentially the change in length squared. But since the change in length is typically very small, and then when you square it, it's extremely tiny, we can simply ignore that little piece right there. And so we can say that the change in the area is simply equal to twice the area of each of these strips. Realizing that the change in length is going to be the coefficient of linear expansion times the original length times the change in temperature, we can then see that the equation could be written like this. And L squared, original L squared, of course, is the original area of the plate. And that's now the equation we could use for the change in area of a surface. Notice that if we have a copper plate with a hole in it and we heat it up, both the copper plate will expand and the hole will expand as well. The hole will get bigger. So let's say that the initial temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, the final temperature is 70 degrees Celsius, and we want to know by how much that hole will change in size. Well, we use the equation twice the coefficient of linear expansion times the original area times the change in the temperature. So let's say the original area simply is pi r squared, whatever that happens to be if we plug in the numbers, twice the coefficient of linear expansion of copper times the change in the temperature, and we see that it's a 0.17% change in the area, but it does get bigger. And the people always say, well, why does it get bigger? Does the hole get smaller? No. What happens is that the atoms on the edge of that circle, as they get heated up, they, they move with higher vibrational speed, with higher vibrational amplitude. They need more elbow room, so to speak, so they push each other apart and the hole will get bigger as well. So that's how you determine the change in area when you heat up objects.